Okay, so uh, we're in the uh, outside the Garmin Lion collection. I'm Bob McBurksmith, and uh, what I'm trying to work out here is how important Epstein is to artists now, and then also what happens to artists when they die, because that's what uh, the archivists made me think a lot about actually, because we're rifling through all Epstein stuff. So this says, if you make art, what happens when you die? If you are famous, the prices of your work rockets. If you are not fa famous, the prices of your work collapses. If you are important, like Epstein, and your husband or wife might donate your work to the nation and eventually a museum could be built. And in fact, in this Garmin Ryan collection in Warsaw, you can go through here and you'll see all the Epsteins uh, that were donated by his wife. What could happen is that your reputation evaporates unless young artists still want to steal your ideas. And here I've made a diagram trying to work out where Jacob Epstein sits for contemporary artists now. What I thought was that Jacob Epstein uh, was around in Paris with Gaudia Bresca, Duchamp and Brancusi and he influenced Moore. Moore influenced George Fullard, Peter Startup, Elizabeth Frink who also taught Philip de Barlow, Philip King, Helen, Helen Chadwick, Lucien Agraria, and then they've gone on to inf influence my generation of artists, Brian Griffiths, Eva Rothschild, Hugh Locke, and uh, me, of course. <laughs> what is very likely to happen, if, even if you're a very famous artist, and unless you're Francis Bacon, where they took all his materials and made a museum to Francis Bacon in Dublin, with all of it, they transported the whole of his studio to Dublin. But what is more likely to happen is that all your materials will be given to the local art school. And these are actually the brushes that were given to me to give to an art school uh, by a, a, a venerable contemporary, a uh, venerable artist who died. Uh, so those are dead artist brushes. Over here, this is, uh, this is all the postcards, or some of the postcards, from Epstein's fantastic postcard collection. And you can see here he's very interested in equestrian statues. He's, he's always interested in heads, busts, because he makes his own uh, busts. He's most famous for producing these busts, uh, busts, actually. But people rifle through your stuff, making connections you would never have dreamed of. And this is a, obviously a, a rather cheesy postcard that might have been sent to him with a raccoon. But I thought it looked rather like this image of the Madonna and child. And then over here, this is rather a downbeat uh, display here. But quite obviously, your clothes and your teeth or whatever, some of them will be binned, taken to a landfill, but your clothes will be taken to Oxfam when you die. And also, when you die, and this has really happened to Epstein, one thing that we're thinking about a lot is Epstein's family and the relationship with uh, Lucien Freud's uh, family. Uh, but one thing that happens is that people begin to think about you more in terms of how you were as a parent. So Epstein was a rather distant parent and it had certain consequences in his family. So here I've displayed uh, your work is forgotten and the public are more interested in your failings as a parent. And here we've got some excerpts from Epstein's son's letters. And uh, in the letters, uh, uh, Theo is always, he's sort of, a, sort of a, abandoned around various minor public schools. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's writing, asking for various uh, treats to be sent, the comforts of home. So, and there we have it. But, uh, last but not least, uh, I... Weirdly, I feel conflicted about Jacob Epstein because I'm actually, when I look at his work, I'm actually becoming, beginning to become a great fan of it. And uh, so here I've gone through Epstein's press cuttings when he was a sort of celebrity in the 1950s. Uh, and, uh, and he appeared, he was making images of Princess Margaret. And, uh, and here I've made a scrapbook of all the press cuttings as if I was a great fan. And I must say, I am becoming a bit of a fan myself. Visit the uh, Garmin Ryan collection in Warsaw.